Hi guys, and welcome to Tech Team BB. Uh, today I'm joined by PC Skep uh, Centric. Uh, yeah, I, sorry, he, he butchered my name, so it's fine, I'll, I'll do the same. Um, but uh, yes, uh, we're joined uh, to basically talk about the uh, Acer event that we're at. So uh, it's kind of the live blog 2016, um, where they have a kind of predator gaming room with PCs and uh, a lot of new laptops, tablets, monsters, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and just before we start, if you want to check out a full video when we chatted about uh, all the monitors that are there, uh, feel free to check out the link in the description or the eye in the top corner for the video we did on uh, Marcus's channel. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, start talking about the PC. So for what would be the, the best PC that you think you're most impressed with? Uh, I'd say it's the G1, I believe. It's, that's, what, that's what it's called, isn't it? So yeah. Which is their super big, massive PC that they've condensed down into uh, the smallest size that they can, basically. Um, yeah, that's yeah. probably what I'd say. I'd, I quite like that one as well because I literally just did a, a G6 review, which is the kind of, uh, sort of mid tower desktop, um, which wasn't all that fantastic and the price point really wasn't that great. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the G1 is the same spec, so you still have something like a 6 600K. Um, with like 16 gigs of RAM and uh, 980 Ti was in the, the model we yeah, had. Exactly. It's configurable so you can sort of have it how you want but uh, it was a prototype uh, yeah. we should probably uh, should probably mention that uh, yeah. but again and pricing we're not entirely sure about yeah. but assuming if it was priced right yeah uh, I think we, it's fair to say we came away uh, quite impressed. Yeah that was pretty awesome the only thing I did notice though if, I don't know if you saw if you look on the back the power supply instead of because a lot of those small form factor PCs have external power supplies like laptops do. Yeah. That one did as well, but that one actually needed two external power supplies, which I found quite strange. Yeah, I think that was the same thing um, on the Asus rival that they've got okay. though. Um, it just basically depends on the graphics card you go for, yeah. doesn't it? Uh, and the TDP. So if you go for a weaker graphics card, you might not need both. Yeah. Um, but yeah, one of the PR people actually did manage to unplug one of the cables and then the whole thing okay. sort of started crying. Oh, right. uh, I don't think it's a big big deal for most people, but yeah. it is Yeah, it is a little bit weird. Yeah, I, think I prefer one plug in the wall, but yeah. whatever. Um, and yeah, in terms of the laptops, I was quite impressed. They are, they are quite thick. They're, they're definitely the chunkier variety. Okay. Yeah, big gaming desktops, but in a laptop, basically, yeah. isn't it? It's a very, very heavy. The 17-inch one, if you pick that up, yeah, yeah. Uh, you realise how it's it's not uh, thin and light. <laughs> no, uh, it's... Uh... Say. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite used to, obviously, the MSI GS uh, sort of range uh, and stuff like the Aorus range that I've got with me. And they're quite, they've got basically the same hardware inside, so a 970. Some of them had 980Ms, mm. um, but either way, they were they were quite hefty. And I, I don't think I'd be carrying one of those around every uh, day. They're more for, I guess, if you're, say, like a university college student, I guess, and you're going to be taking it maybe on the train every now and then, that sort of thing, a portable desktop yeah. rather than a true laptop. But yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, they've got a lot of features on them that I think gamers will like. Yeah. And the sort of people that are going to be buying them, I think it's fair to say they've got a lot of features. Yeah. But I guess the question is, every single year now we're seeing more and more of these external graphics docks. Yeah. Is that going to take off and is that going to replace uh, this sort of machine, do you think? Yeah, that's, that's definitely something that I, I was thinking about, especially with the Razer uh, Stealth uh, and the Razer Core that's sort of coming out as yeah. well with like, I think there's, there's still a balance between uh, the idea of having actual the, the power in, in the laptop because it, if you are taking a laptop around uh, and you travel a lot but you still want to game while you travel, the external dock doesn't make any sense. No, but I guess not, no, because you couldn't really stick it all in your bag, could you? It's more for if you sort of want uh, a static machine but you want a laptop as well rather than having something you can literally take anywhere. Um, so yeah, no, yeah, yeah. maybe uh, maybe you're right actually. I'm thinking about that, but yeah, it's yeah. The, I think there's definitely still a balance to be had, and uh, I'll be interested to see if Acer were to adopt it, and maybe the next generation. Um, but this what this gen isn't too bad either. It feels quite nice in hand. The keyboards aren't too bad, which is one of the kind of main things that I tend to pester on. Um, and the other thing is that I actually noticed there's a, a disable trackpad button uh, yeah. right next to the trackpad. Yeah, nice little feature. Back. And I actually do quite like it because some some people do have disable trackpad options with like FNF12 or FNF something or other, uh, and that's fine. But this one has an LED on it to ex very explicitly tell you if the trackpad is meant to be working or not. And it's actually really nice, easy to use. So yeah, I mean they, they seem nicely executed for what they are. They're very sort of niche product for people, but I think 
Uh, I did come away quite impressed. They've got uh, LED lighting as well, customizable keyboards and things like that. Uh, what do you think of their party trick that isn't really that impressive, if you ask me, with the swappable fan? Yeah, I mean, so the, the, to explain, they've got um, uh, an, uh, so they've got a, an optical disk drive, which I tend to harp on because generally with laptops, space is a premium, and there aren't like the amount of people who use optical disk drives is this much compared to this much in terms of people who don't. Um, but they have this uh, sort of swappable bay, which a lot of people already have. But instead of allowing you to put a, a two and a half inch hard drive in or an SSD, what they've got is this kind of active cooling solution. So you plug it into the, the SAS port inside. It's still the same size, but then just has a small fan in it and draws more air in. And yeah, it sounds... <sighs> I think the thing is, realistically, it sounds like you're almost having a choice between a well-cooled PC and not. But does it actually affect performance? Does it affect acoustics? Yeah. It's, it just seems like a bit of a strange idea. And something you noticed, um, pointed out, and I think you're probably spot on, is it would be nice if you could, if you could get a little dummy uh, optical drive bay that you slide in with something like an SSD and then you've got expandable storage. Yeah. For most people, that's what you're going to going to want and I know on some of the desktops uh, you void the warranty as soon as you open them up yeah. so if you could do that um, nice quick slide in um, uh, SSD that doesn't void the warranty yeah. I think that would probably make more sense for a lot of people. Yeah, I think that'd be quite nice. I did also suggest maybe like an area, for a path for cooling as well as an SSD. Um, but yeah, something like that. I think that the main difference though is that most of those SSD trays you normally have to buy separately, whereas Acer, at least from what I understand, is including them in the box anyway. Yeah. So it's it's a case of you could just easily rip your optical drive out with like a slide on the bottom and shove this in. So. I guess it's okay if it's a freebie, but I would prefer the. the it it just seems chance. like a bit of a weird design decision, I guess, yeah. maybe. But, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's kind of the, the, the wrap up of the the desktops and the laptops. Yeah, we did. We've done the monitors on on my channel, so we've obviously talked about the computers here. They did about a few other things as well. Um, but to be honest, I guess it's not really anything that we. So it's not that it's not worth covering, but it's not really our thing, was it? There have yeah. a couple of more budget orientated phones. Yeah, um, a gaming tablet which only had two gig of RAM. <laughs> well, you said iPad's got two gig of RAM, but, but, I suppose, but then iOS does iOS, a better, better yeah. job of managing it. So. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so I guess that's kind of it. Um, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out the other video where we talk about the monitors and bits and pieces uh, on PC Centric's channel. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed it. Like or dislike, depending on what you feel. But do let me know in the comments down below so that we can improve for next time. And if you want to see more collaboratory videos, feel free to let me know as well. Uh, and other than that, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next video.